Do you like catching movies in the theaters? Check out MoviePass, where you can see a movie every single day for as low as $30 a month. And IAYTD has the hookup, where you can click the link in the description box below to try MoviePass for two weeks before committing to it. Only available in the United States currently, but check out the website for a full list of participating movie theaters near you. Welcome to this week's What is Wednesday and welcome to I'm Your Target Demographic. Today we are covering Magic the Gathering. This is a very popular game that a lot of people play, surprisingly more people than you probably think. And so we're going to cover the basic gist of this. What is it about? Why do people play it? So here is Magic in a nutshell. Magic the Gathering is a collectible card game, or CCG, that was created back in 1993 and it is still going strong, with approximately 20 million people that have considered themselves a Magic player. Now, collectible card games are pretty popular, but back in 1993, Magic was really the first of its kind. So what does collectible card game mean? Most traditional games, you buy the game and you have everything included, every piece to play with. With collectible games, there are cards with different rarities and usually a high number of total cards, which means that you're trying to collect as many as possible and trying to find the rarest of the cards, which usually do better things in the game. You also get to choose the deck of cards that you play with, made of your best cards that you own, and you play against someone else's deck of cards. Since you're often buying for the best cards, comic shops started to transform into more general hobby shops and began selling individual cards, though usually for really hefty prices. One of the most expensive cards ever sold individually was a card called Black Lotus from back in 1994 which sold on eBay for $27,302 in 2013. You might be thinking, doesn't that mean that people with more money can buy a better deck and therefore do better? And yes, to a certain extent that's true, but there's also a certain amount of luck in any card games where you draw cards randomly. Also, a player with a great strategy but only decent cards could still potentially beat a bad player that bought good cards. It would be difficult, but not impossible. In terms of genre, Magic the Gathering is set in a fantasy world full of monsters and dragons, but it also emphasizes the dawn of technology and as many artifacts and artificial creatures that exist. There have been more than 75 different sets of cards released during its lifetime so far, each one full of unique cards and unique themes. You can buy either starter packs, which are full of the basic cards necessary to play, or you can purchase smaller booster packs, which are completely random and your best chance at finding those rare cards. So what's the game? Basically, all of the cards in the game are made up of one or more of five different colors. When you compose your deck, you choose which color, or colors, you want to incorporate and what general strategy you want to employ. Based on the color you have chosen, you also put in cards for that color's land type. For example, you need forest cards in order to play green cards, or you need swamps to play black cards. When you're playing against someone, the risk is that you don't have enough of the right land to play the cards in your hand. So say, for example, you only have two swamps. So you can't really play the really important black card that you have in your hand because it requires five swamps. You can play a deck of multiple colors, but that further lessens the chances of getting the right lands that you need. So the safest bet is to play either one or maybe two colors. People can play Magic casually, but there's also a huge tournament scene, with a record-breaking 4,500 participants in 2013 in a Las Vegas tournament, so it's still going strong. There's even a Hall of Fame for players that have done exceptionally well for many years. So Magic the Gathering, it's a card game, it's also a collectible, people spend a lot of money, but they can also make a lot of money in these tournaments, and a lot of people play, more people than you would even think and it's still popular even though it's been out for 20 years. So that's the basics of Magic the Gathering. Hopefully now you get a little insight into the culture, the world that exists, um, the people that this is their, their hobby of choice. So thanks for watching What is Wednesday and let me know what else, what other little facets of kind of nerd culture do you want to sneak peek into? So tell me in the comments what else you want to see. So that's it for now. Make sure you check out our Facebook page for IAYTD and let me know suggestions for the future. We'll see you next week. I got the magic in me.